Hi, I'm Leela Kumar. I work as a security services consultant in CA Technologies. My specialization is around CA Control Minder. A common problem with Windows based infrastructure is the administrative control that Windows natively provides us. A user could either be defined as an administrator having access to all the entities on the server machine or he could be defined as a normal user having very limited capabilities. However, in a general business requirement, we would need a user to be given a sub administrator access. In other words, limited administrative control on the Windows operating system. This feature is natively not available by the infrastructure that Windows provides. CA Control Minder offers that capability to selectively protect registry keys and values, making sure that only a group of defined administrators have all the modify rights over that particular registry keys or values and Windows services also. Using CLang, we can define global policies which will give all read, write, modify and execute permissions to a specific Windows registry key or value or a service to a particular user group or a user and it also adds up as an audit facility giving all the audit details of which user has tried to modify or access which registry key or value or a service. This way we can ensure that we give that appropriate median level access control to this particular defined users thereby making sure that we are both utilizing the local windows infrastructure as well answering our business requirement. Now let us understand more of this use case with a real time challenge that organizations generally face. Let's consider forwarding a fictional organization and the forwarding has a lot of applications developed around the .NET platform. Now these application controls are mainly defined in the registry settings and forwarding's security policy is to ensure only the application administrators has the facility to modify the registry keys or values as per the requirements. It also has to make sure that these applications can be start and stopped by only the application administrators. For achieving this use case, the native Windows functionality is by defining an administrator and making sure that the administrators will be able to access the registry keys. But then this is a vulnerability because the administrators would not just have access to the registry keys or values, but would have admin access over the other resources too. Using CLang, we can define a global policy which assigns admin access to a particular application admin group over the registry keys, values and the desired services. Post deployment, only the application administrators will have the capability to modify these values, thereby ensuring forwarding's objective is met. The mounted device's key can only be modified by members of the forward backslash registry users active directory group. You can create a policy in enterprise management by clicking create policy link. You need to click the OK button to create a new policy. Start entering general details of the policy like policy name and description. The policy needs to be defined before it is submitted. Click the Policy Script tab to define the policy. You can create the policy in two ways. You can upload a document containing the script or enter the script in the Deploy Script and Undeploy Script text boxes. This command defines a new resource in CA Control Minder for the registry key. Next. Enter a command that authorizes only members of the forward backslash registry users group to access the mounted device's registry key. This command changes the owner to nobody. Nobody is a logical CA control minder user. By making owners nobody, everyone in the environment is accountable for the changes they make. 
this command protects various registry values. Now, unauthorized users cannot modify them. You now need to ensure that you enter the relevant undeployment script. To continue, enter these commands in the undeploy script text box. This command will delete the resources created for the registry keys and its values. Click the Submit button to create the policy. Look at the confirmation note. The policy is successfully created. Click the OK button to acknowledge that you read the confirmation. The policy is created. You can assign a policy in Enterprise Management by clicking Assign Policy link. To view the list of policies, click the Ellipsis button. From the list, select the Protecting Registry Keys policy. The next step is to select the host. To view the list of available hosts, click the Add button. Assign a policy to the relevant host. From the list, select the host onto which you want to deploy the policy and click the Select button. You have now assigned the policy to the relevant host. Read the confirmation note and click the OK button. Check if you can access registry keys as administrator. Log in to the VM12 Win system as administrator. To open the registry editor, click then Start button and then click the Run option. Type Regedit in the text box and click the OK button. To continue, try to access the mounted device's registry key. You will get an error message because the administrator does not have access to this key. You saw that you cannot access registry keys as administrator. Now, log in as user who has access to registry keys. You will now be able to access the key without receiving an error message.